Hi, Mike here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about this snowblower. This is an electric snowblower. All right, so I assume what you're doing, you're watching this video because you're thinking about buying one of these. And I, I would say it's on, it wasn't a bad choice for me. I have a 70 foot long driveway, two car, two cars can fit down it. Now, the, the devils are in the details, right? So this claims that it could move snow that's up to 13 inches deep, which it, 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 there's no way. Um, maybe if it's the lightest, fluffiest snow that you've ever had um, drop, yeah, maybe, maybe it'll, it can move that. But I would say a normal snow, probably six inches would be pushing it, okay? Now, if you were to get 13 inches of snow, like I just got a foot of snow that uh, that dropped, don't expect this thing to, to let the, all the snow drop and go out there and be able to push a foot of snow uh, 25 feet away. It just ain't gonna happen. Uh, all right. So I've kind of bought this as a, as a um, transition piece. Um, I got it for a really good deal on a Black Friday for about hundred bucks. That's why I picked it up. I didn't expect this thing to be a monster and, you know, be able to move as, you know, as much as a gas powered unit. So, so for someone like me, it's got a 70 foot long driveway, two car, uh, it's probably not a permanent solution. It's actually not, I'll tell you that. Um, so, but it's a bridge, um, it's a means to an end. So basically I'll probably always have this cause it's a nice, uh, tool um, I to have. am going to have to invest in a bigger snowblower. I knew from the beginning that this thing was not going to be a replacement for an actual powered uh, large snowblower. Um, what I would say, it probably is a good replacement for a small gas powered snowblower. So if you're gonna buy one of the smaller snowblowers that's gas, I probably would steer you to this. Um, simplistic, it's clean, It you plug it in and it runs. Um, and I see people out there with these little tiny gas powered uh, snow blowers and they don't push, they don't just don't push snow. They probably push them out of snow um, as this does. It's good for if you maybe you live in a condo complex and you need somewhere to store a snow blower uh, or you wanna you know, bring it on a deck that you don't have access to from the outside. Um, it's actually very, very light. I mean, let's see. I could pick this thing up, it's a little, but you can pick this up with one hand once it's folded up. And it actually folds up really small. You can undo this, undo this, and fold this unit up, okay? So that's a very beneficial thing. Um, again, you're not gonna push 13 inches of snow like it claims, but you could get out there multiple times and you can push the snow to somewhere else that you don't want it. Um, so I don't think it's a, it was a terrible idea. Um, probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eventually get a larger snowblower and I'm just gonna keep this thing um, in the shed or in the garage and uh, you know the kids can use it or someone else can use it while I'm using the other snowblower. Um, or if we just get a little bit of snow, I could pull it out and use it. Uh, so for the three years that I've been using it, um, you know, I learned my lesson. This is not a replacement for an actual snowblower. It's a nice compliment. Um, uh, the claim of being able to push 13 inches of snow, I don't believe that claim, but I wouldn't, again, you know, I, I wouldn't say buy this thing thinking and reading all the specs and saying, I'm gonna be able to do with everything it says, you know, cut all that in half and maybe even take another 10% off of it. And that's probably realistically what this will do nine times out of 10. Yeah, maybe in the ideal situation, It'll be able to do what the specs are, but let's 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 be honest. We don't live in an ideal world. Um, all right, so I hope this helped. Um, I would definitely say if you're thinking about getting this um, as maybe a bridge to you can get like a nice snowblower, I'd say go do it. You know, and you know if you really hate it, you can always put it on Facebook or sell it. You know, for half of what you bought it for. Um, so I don't. I think these definitely have a place in the market, and I don't think they're going to go anywhere. They're definitely not going to replace, I don't ever see them replacing real snowblowers, gas powered snowblowers, unfortunately. But, you know, we never thought Tesla was gonna be as good as they are, so uh, you never know. So that's my review. Please like this video. Please subscribe for other videos and content along this lines. Do a lot of DIY videos, um, how-to videos, um, you know, things like that. So thank you, bye.